The Baker men's basketball team is 7-0 so far this season. Now this is the best start to the season that the Cats have had since the 2006-7 season. Now the Wildcats look to improve their heart record to 3-0 as they will take on Mount Mercy this Saturday in Collins Center. Today we will be interviewing senior Nate Gus Scott and here he is to preview the upcoming game against Mount Mercy. Nate, you guys have had a great start to the season so far. You guys are 7-0. Now tell us what has been the key to success here? Um, I think the atmosphere around uh, the locker room has been really good. Like we're, uh, Everyone's got a really positive attitude. Everyone's getting around each other. Um, it doesn't really matter about who's going off on a certain night and who's having good games and bad games. Everyone's just trying to stay positive and you know get around each other and keep the energy high. So I think that's going into it a bit. Um, definitely our defense is uh, really strong. We're communicating well. Um, I think that's a large uh, part of it as well. Yeah, our communication. And there are six different players on the team that are averaging double figures in scoring. Now, what has been clicking so well for this offensive group? Um, I think it's the fact that we do have so many different options and different weapons that can go off. Like we, if we're like getting shut down from a certain aspect of the game, we can go to another um, different aspect and you know pound it inside and have the post go to work and then hit shooters out. I mean, we can score in a variety of different ways that like really helps us be versatile and hard to defend. And this weekend we're playing Mount Mercy. So what do we need to do to bring our record to three and up? I think just focus on us. Like if we focus on our game and stick to our communication and our rules and trust the process and working possession to possession, getting stops and scores, um, communicating, of course, is a big key for us. Um, yeah, we can uh, challenge everyone. We can go against anyone. If we just stick to us and like focus on our stuff and executing right and doing our things. So Nate, I'm going to ask you final four questions. Now they're kind of fun. So you are from Australia. Now, what is the one thing that you miss most about Australia besides your family? Oh, that was that's the given. Um, one thing I miss most about I think it's just oh, that's tough. I don't know. <laughs> the food is the food different? The food, not really, because I love the food here. The food's amazing here. I would say my pets. Is that counted as a family? Sure, Because we'll my it. yeah, my dog is definitely what I miss the most. <laughs> now, who is your celebrity crush? Celebrity? Oh, Margaret Robbie. <laughs> Have to Margaret Robbie, and she can do like multiple accents, especially like Suicide Squad and Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, yeah, she gets me going. <laughs> and um, who is your favorite basketball team? NBA team. NBA team. I'm always been a Lakers supporter, but to watch right now, that's a tough one because Lakers are, they have a good game, they have a bad game, they're just young um, and up and coming. Um, I really, I mean, you gotta admire Golden State Warriors and how they move the ball and how they have so many different weapons that can um, beat you. Um, but yeah, probably Golden State Warriors to watch, but I'm always a Lakers supporter at heart. <laughs> Now, would you rather have a million dollars or find true love? Ooh, that's tough. Find true love, probably, honestly. Because money comes and goes, but that's rare in this world. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Well, thank you, Nate. We look forward to watching you take on Mount Mercy this Saturday. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Everyone get down. <laughs> The men's basketball team is set to take on Mount Mercy this Saturday inside Collins Center at 2 p.m. Here's Baker Sports Information Director Tyler Price with the head coach Sean Dooley. All right, we're here with Baker University head men's basketball coach Sean Dooley. Uh, coach, Wildcats are 7-0 in the regular season, one of the uh, hottest starts we've had in quite a while. Um, you know, talk about this team and, and you know what's been key to your guys' success here early on. Um, I think probably more than anything, just our depth. We've got a lot of guys um, that can kind of step up and, 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 and when their number's called, um, it hadn't been the same guy each and every night. Um, I think our depth's been one and I've uh, uh, been pleased with how we've defended up until this point here. So, um, you know, it, we've got a lot of guys back that have been in the program, you know, three now going on four years for some of them. So the experience has helped um, and the understanding of what we're trying to get done on both the offensive and defensive end also has helped that. And, and uh, those older guys have done a good job um, as leaders and, and bringing up to speed our new guys on uh, those same type of things that we want to get accomplished. Yeah, offensively, you guys have, have really been rolling. Um, in your seven victories, you guys have scored 78 or more points. Um, you know, talk about you know, what's, what's been uh, working on that side of the ball. 
I just think uh, probably more than anything, just our unselfishness. Um, the guys are doing a good job of, of sharing the basketball, um, being unselfish enough to make the extra pass and maybe sometimes passing up a, a good look to get a great look. So if we can continue to do that, and I think probably the biggest thing sometimes with us has been um, trying to do a better job of the turnovers, making sure we do get a shot because when we do, you know, we're such uh, shooting a pretty good percentage. We just got to make sure we get a shot each possession and not have some of those unforced turnovers. Yeah, your schedule's um, you know had a, a different feel to it. You've played three NCAA Division II teams, um, including last night against Central Missouri. Uh, how about that experience? You know, what, what has that been like for you guys, and, and what do you hope to take from it? Well, I think our guys enjoy the experience. You know, you go up a level and play um, against there and just different competition that obviously we don't see every year. But, uh, you know, it's been good tests for us. And, and for the most part, I think our guys have done a pretty good job against, um, you know, against the likes of William Jewell, who's currently ranked in the top 25. Uh, Central Missouri, I believe, is just right on the outside. And, and Washburn's got a great team, too. So it's not that we just played just – you know, an average D2 team. I mean, we played some good D2 teams that are going to do well in their league. So, um, like we told our guys last night going into Central Missouri, is this is what it's going to be like, a good test on the road, of what it's going to be like uh, in some of our conference uh, opponents. So, you know, with the way the schedule set up this year, we had more non-conference dates. The conference season didn't start up right away, and, and I thought it was important for us to, to go play some of those people on their floor to um, give us that experience and hopefully prepare us for, for when those road games happen more frequently here um, come second semester. Yeah, let's talk about one more non-con stretch and as you guys trip out to Arizona um, next week where you guys will face some tough NAI competition, you guys will take a plane ride down to the southwest. Um, yeah, how about that? How about that tournament? That'll be a, a tough test and some, some teams you could potentially play down the road in the national tournament. Yeah, you know, it'd be a good test. That first one, um, the Masters, I think they're currently ranked number five in the country. Um, I believe they were a Sweet 16 team last year. So I um, haven't really focused too much on that quite yet, but uh, I know our guys are really excited. Uh, we've got one more test here, uh, conference game coming up this weekend against Mount Mercy. Then they've got finals, which they're probably not too excited about. but. Uh, then as soon as finals are over, we're, we're hitting the road and heading to Phoenix. And, um, you know, and we've got a three-game stretch right there. Uh, and then after that, we follow up into Christmas break. So I think the key with it, you know, with the competition that we're going to be playing down there, I'm sure our guys are going to be excited. But uh, this is a mature group. I'm sure they'll be focused, too, and, and, and know they have work to do down there um, if they want to reach their goals. Yeah, last question for you. We do have Mount Mercy on Saturday, so looking to move to 3-0 and in the heart. It was a, a national tournament team last year and had a, had a lot of experience. Um, you know, what do you expect from Mount Mercy this year? What's their squad looking like? No, they do. They they lost some some key pieces last year. They had a great team, but uh, thought they were kind of similar to us. And like we play, they play a lot of guys, so you never knew exactly which one it was going to be. Uh, they had multiple guys that could hurt you. And I think this team sets up similar to that, uh, but they do have a lot of new pieces. So I'm sure, like any team, when you add a lot of uh, new faces to you. They're just trying to figure things out still. So um, they're very well coached. Uh, they play hard um, night in and night out, and uh, they run some really good stuff. They're really hard to guard. So uh, it'll put a lot of pressure on us. Um, last year we split with them. I uh, was probably fortunate to do that. Kind of came from behind late down here and pulled one out. So um, knowing them, uh, I'm sure they're going to remember that and, and, and be eager to, to come on the road and, and get one here. So. Uh, it's, it's no different than any other conference game um, in this league. They're all tough, um, and it doesn't matter what your record is. It's just going to matter who's going to play better, show up that day, and play better for those 40 minutes. So uh, hopefully our guys will, will be focused um, and, and excited to play and, and uh, hopefully uh, get one more conference win here before um, we hit winter break. Well, Coach, really appreciate your time. Good luck Saturday at 2 o'clock. Thank you.